The film came about because D David Land suggested that we might want to make a film in response to Happy Days and that felt a really exciting prospect seeing all the previous films that have been done in terms of Young Vic projects and so I was really keen to work with Juliet on it. Natalie and I talked about it and of course I was very, very keen to do it and then um, she, she brought Nancy Harris into it and Nancy who instantly liked and felt was a sort of kindred spirit you know and, and she'd I think she'd only seen the play once or twice but really seemed to have gone right to the centre of it to the heart of it and we met and had a conversation I think only once and then she went away and, and, and wrote this piece which seemed miraculous to me because what she extracted from the Beckett was you know absolutely lay at the heart so she found what lay at the heart of the play and has, has written this sort of little beautiful miniature. It was really fun to do. We took a lot of the learning that we had from the play into the film. So obviously burying Juliet under you know, a lot of rubble could be quite a painful thing. But actually we had discovered this amazing material called vermiculite, which is what we use in the, in the play to bury Juliet, which is actually very useful for gardening. And it kind of helps kind of absorb water into soil. And it's a, very, it's a natural material. It has a lovely golden quality. So we used that for the burying. So there were, there were lots of things that we you know, learned in terms of using um, icing powder and things like that to kind of create the burying effect. But it didn't mean that it was kind of too dangerous to do because the prospect of creating a falling ceiling repeatedly was quite a big challenge that Nancy set us in the script. The character in this film never allows herself to sink into um, the emotional sort of bog that she might in the circumstances. She tends to think practical and organisational and and then she's foiled very often, but then she's, you see her moving on, which is very like Winnie. I mean, the defining characteristic of Winnie in Happy Days is that she never or rarely allows herself to go under this kind of tight, sort of tightly stretched skin, like a drum of her of her existence, which which uh, under which is chaos and despair, um, and she keeps herself dancing on its surface or trying to rise above it in all sorts of different ways. Absolutely love the short film format. It's, it's. I love the short story format. I love miniatures. I love. You know. I, I think it's a, it's a fantastically difficult one and a very beautiful one if you get it right.